Hi and welcome to Reaper TV. In this week's tutorial we're going to be taking a look at bias effects and specifically how we can bypass the impulse response section of this plugin and use our own impulse response loaders. This is going to give us additional freedom, additional mic options and a whole range of extra impulse responses we can use without having to rely upon those that ship with bias effects. So let's take a look at how we can use those right now. So I've got an instance of BiasFX open, and as you can see, I've got a pretty simple setup on there. We've got a noise gate, a drive, we're running through a tread plate, and we're running through a 412 tread plate cab. And that's great, and the sound that I've got on there is pretty good. So let's just have a quick listen to that, see what we're starting off with, and we'll see how easy it is to change that out ourselves. So that's what we've got to start off with and it sounds fine but you may want to open up additional options when it comes to the type of microphone you're using possibly the speaker cabinets you're using you know there are a whole range of different impulse responses out there that you can buy both commercial and free options available to you and while the bias effects gives you a whole range of great options and a whole range of great different cabs you may find that there are better options available or ones that you want specifically so to do this is quite easy. We just need to make sure that we've got the cab section for our amp. And all we need to do is where it says cabinet model, we click, scroll to the top, and on there we can now bypass this. So if we bypass that, we're bypassing the speaker section, no impulse responses being used. And if we listen to just the guitar track on there, you're going to hear the difference to that. It's going to come out quite fizzy and not particularly very good at all. So let's take a listen to that. So as you can hear, it's not a particularly good sound. So we've bypassed that impulse response. We could finish with bias effects at this point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna add some new effects in there. So all I need to do is come down to my FX browser. And for this example, I'm gonna use the Mercurial Cab version three, but you can use any impulse response loader, Nidia, two notes, you know, anything you kind of want to work with. So you're gonna simply drag that up, drop it on the guitar track that I want bring the interface in and just switch back to my mixer and at the moment I need to make sure that's positioned correctly we've got the bias effects which is running the head we've got the EQ and then we've got the speaker cab well we need just to quickly change that around so we've got everything stacked in the right order so now we've got different options available to us we've got the input tuning the microphone that's being used and the position but like I say this is a very simple impulse response loader there are far more complex and feature rich ones out there that you can use to expand your whole range of options available to you. But let's take a quick listen to this now and hear how this is now influencing it where we've bypassed the impulse response loader inside bias effects. So we just make sure this track is soloed, we hit play on there. And now you'll find that as I make changes, the effect from the Mercurial cab is now overriding we can now fine tune this ourselves until we get a sound that we're happy with. So that's all there is to it. As you can see, it's very easy for us to replace the impulse response loader that's being used as part of bias effects to use whatever we want. So we can just load any kind of impulse response we want and we can even stack multiple impulse responses on top of each other there to give us a multi-cab effect. Well, I hope you found this tip useful. I hope it's something you can find you can use in your projects. If you did find it useful, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add on a weekly basis. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. And until next time, happy mixing.